Oh. Right. Okay. Alright. Let's get moving. I think I know exactly where this key goes. I went down here earlier, but it was locked. I bet now I can get in it. But uh boop. Open up. Alright. This is weird. Shore at war! Oh, that's him, huh? <laughs> Looks like the green goblin. Uh Recruiting new members have uh, turned out to be quite a challenge. I may have to alter my strategy. Maybe I can lure in more people by giving them free stuff. Offer free seminars on topics like faith and fear or something like that. People like free stuff. Once they listen to us, we can start to work on them and tell them about Shore and Skoro and all that. My priest should learn how to best influence people and get them to see the world our way. If we mention suicide and immortality too early, many people will turn away from us. Yeah, no shit. We need to butter them up first and then slowly shape them, align them with our goals. I see. I love every member of my flock with all of my heart. I don't believe that for a second. Let's kiss the ring. Alright, we kiss the ring. Cool. That's entertaining. Look at those books over there. Nestled in the corner. Alright, so now what? Now what do we do? Now that I've kissed the ring, surely there'll be something new, right? Maybe I can get into this door over here, actually. Hang on, there was another door that I couldn't get into. It's this one. Oh, wait. This one. Enter the catacombs. Weren't we in the catacombs? Earlier? No, we were in the labyrinth. Oh. The labyrinth and the catacombs are two different places. Whew. All right. Sorry, I know I didn't read that note. I just, from the first sentence, I was like, eh. I get it. Look, there's Shore again. With his little KKK hat. God. One night I heard a voice and I followed it. It led me down to a hidden, a, down a hidden path and deep into the mountain where I found something like a statue. The voice was coming from the statue and explained to me that this statue is the last remaining piece of a wall of a temple once dedicated to a god named Shore. The statue told me about Shore, his brother Skoro, the old ones, Shore's rise to power, and mankind's betrayal. I listened and wrote all of it down. There's a lot of parallels between this cult and major world religions. The statue of Shore is talking to me again. We need to make human sacrifices to convince the old ones that Shore should be king of the earth. Those who give their lives for him will be rewarded with immortality and will sit beside him on his golden throne. I consider my duty uh, to make sure that only the most deserving members of our society are granted immortality. The statue has given me power over his servants. They will help me to build a house of shore dedicated to worshiping him and preparing for his return. I will gather members and lead them as their high priest. Sure you will. Fear me for I am the Lord is the name of this book. This one's just called Guidance. Wow. Okay. Why is there always a tree here? Did this just shut? Hey. There we go. I'm inside. And... The, the door to safety is, is locked. Or whatever. I don't know. Tried to make a Resident Evil reference. I don't know if it worked or not. Um, oh, whoa, there's something there. It's probably this statue. Stay there. Yeah, what of it? I'm here, aren't I? Down here, my child, I'm waiting for you. Down here, my child, I'm waiting for you. What? Okay. Whoa! Okay. I didn't know that you moved. Stop moving. Stop moving! Is he behind me? Fuck.
pay. Okay, I did another one of the levers. goes up here. Was that a leech or something? Stop! I'm worthless? I disagree. Okay, what was that? It looks like a door opened or something. What? What? Oh, okay. Whoa! <sighs> okay. Wait, this this one. This is a heart. A heart is red. I don't know what the heck that is. Um A rose is red. Do I have to make them all turn red? A sun is yellow. What the heck is this puzzle? Ah, uh, maybe this will give me a hint. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really give us a hint there as to what we're supposed to do. Okay, so like, I don't know what what, what color is this supposed to be? Green. What the? <laughs> oh, grass one to the left, sun two to the left, rose. Two to the right, heart, one to the right. Seems pretty simple. Grass, one to the left. Sun, two to the left. Oh, so that was grass? Alright, so two to the left, huh? You gotta right click. That's the thing. Yes. Okay, where where did it open? Right here? There's running water. Huh. Do we click on one of these? What's that? Do we listen for the sound of water? Okay, there's gotta be something... Gotta be something down here. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god! Okay. I was sitting there just feeling like the biggest idiot. I was like, do you, do you touch one of the bottles? Do you touch them in a certain sequence? I, I don't know why my mind always goes to sequential, but it does. I'm always like, there's gotta be a certain... Is this another soul for me to save? <laughs> now that the 
pleased to stand. I'm feeling a little lonely. Come and join me. Okay. There's a seam running around the statue as if someone had tried to cut it in half. Like the blade? The blade of shore that we encountered earlier? The one blocks on the wall can be rotated, but when I touched one of them, the statue told me not to. I don't want to risk anything. The statue itself is sitting on a platform that also has a seam running across its surface. I wonder what's up with that? I'm sitting here again, waiting and praying for guidance. Most of the time, the statue remains silent, but the few times when it does speak to me, make all the waiting worthwhile. Shore is good. <sighs> okay. Huh. Oh, an upside down cross. It also makes, you know, the shape that's on the statue. What the heck? Yeah, there's no way out of here now, is there? Yep. We're entombed in here. The heck? What? Oh! The fall didn't kill you, but you broke one of your legs, and there was no way out of this hole. You spent your last days on Earth sitting in this dark hole, and after three days without food or water, you died. Weird that I got a little, like, epilogue there. Okay, don't... Don't fall down there, I guess. Okay. Now this is... this is right, I think. But we don't go down there. We go... Further this way? Yeah. Dizzy? I do that too sometimes. You were able to solve the last puzzle I see. It was so easy, but the old priest just refused to see it. What a fool. It was me who woke him up and led him to the statue. I talked to him through the statue and told him a story of a god that doesn't exist. I planted all those ideas in his head. I talked about immortality and he believed my lies. All these people suffered and died for nothing. <laughs> Isn't this delicious? <laughs> It was the priest who decided how many people had to die. It was the priest who built all those rooms and tests and everything around you. I gave him power and this is what happened. <laughs> but you, you are useless to me now. And you will join him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your spinning. Oh. Well, wait. I want to leave. How is he hurting me there? Oh. You just had to press the buttons. Alright, see you later. <laughs> Until next time, my child. <laughs> There's not gonna be a next time, so. Alright, bye. Okay. So, how do we get out of here exactly? You 
You sent the demon back to where he came from, but you were trapped. There was no way out of this place. You tried everything, but to no avail, and no one heard you scream. After stumbling around for three days without food or water, you died. What, 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 what? What? That's the end? That's the end? What? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, so yeah. Zero out of ten ending, I gotta say. Did not like that. At all. Um. Alright game overall, but bad ending. Wow. Like... I don't know, it's just... Kind of just like being told that you died by a narrator that hadn't been present before in the entire game. And then just having like, the end appear, it's very not satisfying. Yeah, terrible ending, terrible ending. But, uh... Uh, the game overall... I think it has good atmosphere in parts. The audio cues are really good. Like, really good. Um, I think that's probably the greatest strength to it. Uh, that, that was the greatest strength of Bunker 16 as well. But, uh... Yeah, trying to figure out what else to say about it. I like, uh... You know, I, I thought the story of the cult was alright. I think there were too many notes kind of just repeating the same thing. Mostly just the high priest saying the same thing about how, like, Shor loves us all, but he wants us to suffer, like, note after note. And then, like, there are some traitors. Where, where the heck are they? Note after note. And I think, I think that could have been cut down by quite a bit. I wasn't a fan of the instant deaths. At all. I think that kind of was anticlimactic, kind of took away from things. But, like I said, for, like, an atmospheric story-driven game, uh, I think that it was pretty strong in that respect. Um, I do not think that this is better than Bunker 16, but it's hard to compare them considering this is a great deal longer than Bunker 16. This is like a three, four hour experience. Bunker 16 was, you know, what, half an hour? So, but I think, I think this sort of style of game might work better for a shorter experience like that than for a longer one like this. Because I just think there needs to be, like, more to it, maybe? For something of this length? Because, like, I feel like we went, we went down too many rabbit holes towards the end. It's like, oh, there's the labyrinth, but then there's also the catacombs, but then there's these caves, and it's like, you know, there, I mean, obviously, some of that w had to have been hallucinations from kissing the ring too much, because we saw how it affected our perception of the apartment complex. But at the same time, it was just like, I feel like we've explored enough ancient tombs. <laughs> you know, about like, like the last hour of the game or so, I was like, I think I'm pretty much done with exploring uh, these obviously, like, awful... Uh, tomb-like areas, but, um, I think some of the puzzles were a little obscure, especially the ones where you just had to find a tiny switch, but I liked that there were puzzles, it made it so it wasn't just, like, a key fetch simulator, which it easily could have been, because the majority of what you do is read notes, get codes, find keys, but there were some unique things, uh, or, like, not unique as in no one's ever done them before, but unique in that they were different from the rest of the game. Like, find the screwdriver, unscrew the heater panel, you know, uh, get the get the piece of wire to get the thing out of the mailbox. At least I think that's what it was for. Stuff like that kind of helped vary it up a little bit. And then, like, the parts, like, we had to go through the labyrinth and avoid the monsters with the, with the spears. <laughs> 
and like the the blowgun trap or whatever the heck that was and like you know there was there was enough variety there I think to make it not feel just like a fetch quest uh, key hunt game and there are too many key hunt games so I will definitely praise this game for its atmosphere and audio and the fact that it's not a key hunt game like so many others on Steam and I think this should be on Steam I think it should be for sale on Steam I think it's it's like a it's like a six out of ten for me. Um, I hate giving numeric scores though because there's there's so many ifs ands or buts that come with uh, assessing a game that you know just giving it a numeric score doesn't really take into account. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what I would give it. You know, um, like I said, I, I I think that there are some really strong aspects, but there are definitely some weak points to this game. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And once again, the, the green light page is in the description. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.